Hey everybody, Claudia with Claudia Rossi Studios. Um, I'm coming at you a little frustrated today. I have been promising you guys art. I have put up videos of me talking and <laughs> promising you art. And I did an art journal page and I was all excited, ready to get it out there for you. I started editing it. I'm working on it for like an hour. Like an hour. Okay, maybe two. <laughs> Maybe two hours. I was working on this video and then I noticed I am missing huge portions, huge portions of my clips. Like this all gone, the whole end, whole end is gone. Like the last 40% of the page is gone. Or okay, at least 20%. But I mean, it's the part that actually shows you what I did. So up until then, it just kind of looks like a mess. So I have no art, still no art video up until now. So, um, until now. So, Thank you for being patient if you've been patient with me because, um, yeah, uh, no art. That's my sad face. Very sad that my, that my, that my video's gone because the page is really cute. I show it to you, but, um, my journal is part of my little stack of stuff that's holding my camera up right now, so I, I can't show it to you. Maybe later I'll stick in a picture. Not a bad page, right? Not a bad page. I, I, it would have been nice to have shown it to you. So, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you guys for being patient, waiting for me to get you guys some art up. So, um, I'm not going to talk too much about what I have coming up. I'm just going to get right to work and show you guys a journal page. I hope you guys have a good week. Okay, on with the art now. Um, I'm starting in a page on a page in my uh, smaller, it's called the Large Moleskine Sketchbook. So what I have are some butterflies. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Some butterflies that were done with some light mo modeling paste. I just put the stencil down and then rubbed the modeling paste through the stencil with my palette knife like that. Okay, and then you just push it through, scrape it all off to leave it thin, and then I let it dry overnight. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to, I have just a piece of ephemera. It's um, from the Spellbinders Mixed mix media mixage. It's just a little book full of different um, papers that you can use in your mixed media things. So I'm going to use some of that and then I have some of my Tim Holtz tissue paper, just a random piece that came off. That's this roll. It comes on this roll. I really like it. It's It comes like kind of like wax paper on a roll that you cut off like aluminum foil or wax paper. So it's kind of neat. I love that stuff. I use it all the time, so you'll, you'll see this a lot. So this is just a leftover scrap from whatever I was doing, and I'm just going to put some randomly on the page. I am going to apply them using matte medium because the tissue paper is super thin, and this paper is pretty thin too, so matte medium will be sufficient. I don't need to go into like the gel medium that I use on heavier cardstock. So um, I'll just put a little bit in my bowl. There's a little bit left, and I will just tear up and put the papers in random places. When I put things on the paper with either matte medium, gel medium, or whatever, whenever I'm using any of my mediums, I don't use my regular good brushes. Like, this brush is not really one of my good brushes, but it's new-ish. But you see how soft the bristles are and how easily they bend? I, I like that. And so um, I don't want to ruin my, my good brushes. So I don't, these aren't really expensive good brushes, but I do buy and they come in a three pack of sizes. This one doesn't have its purple paint on it anymore, but they come in a three pack and I buy just these really cheap wash brushes. And I use these for my... Um, for my mediums so that I don't care. Now this brush is just tangled. But like, as you can tell, I use this one a lot, this size. And it, the bristles are really stiff. Do you see how stiff they are? I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. And they don't want to bend all the way down. So, um, this one's not so bad, but still, only the top half bends. This part down here, 
the medium gets into that because I don't like to use a wet brush in my medium. Usually when I paint, I will put my brush in water and then dry it off so I have a damp brush. That way the paint doesn't absorb up into the back of the bristles as much and it makes it easier to rinse the paint out of my brushes and to get all the paint out. So I usually start, if I'm using paint, um, with a damp brush, but not directly into my paint containers. That's my problem is when I use my gel medium, I go directly into the tub. I don't want to put a wet brush into the tub or I can cause mold to grow. That's not a good thing or it can affect the quality of the medium. So I don't do that. And because of that, my brushes get really stiff because the medium gets all the way in. It's hard to wash it all out. So I just buy cheap brushes that I don't care about. Obviously this one soaked in water long enough that the paint just peeled right off. This one is, this one's peeling off now too. <laughs> And it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. So that's just my quick tip on brushes, which ones I use and why um, for my medium. So those ones are always set aside for this kind of thing. So it doesn't matter if I um, ruin them. This one I've left soaked in water so long that the it comes apart, but I just keep putting it back together and using it. And at some point I'll glue it, but I haven't yet. Okay, let me get to work now. I'm going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun and then I'll be right back. So next, I think I'm going to do a wash. Um, I'm not really, I don't have a plan for this page. I mean, sometimes I have things planned out. Other times, not so much. This is one of those not so much times. So I'm just going to play a little and you guys are going to get to see what happens whenever I'm just messing around in my art journal. Like you know, I was on vacation and, I, and then I was sick and I'm still trying to get over it completely. Uh, it seems to be hanging around. It's been a couple of weeks now and I can't seem to get over it. So creativity is a little bit um, low. My, my creativity level is a little low. So uh, I don't have plans. I just, I just, I'm just gonna play because that will often just get things going again when you've been away from art, which I've been, just getting back in and just get in your art journal, make something, it doesn't matter, and that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is I'm mixing a little bit of Crin Magenta, there we go, with some glazing medium, and I'm using a satin, because I don't want it too glossy. And then, um, Let's see, get a brush, get it wet. I told you I use damp brush in my paint. Um, and what I'm, I'm just gonna mix this. Now, you really should mix paint with a palette knife because you don't wanna work the paint into your brush and then you don't have an even, if you're mixing color, especially you don't end up with an even tone in your brush. So you get a little more of one or the other, but for this purpose, it doesn't really much matter. I'm just going to cover the whole page, the whole page in this glaze. So. Okay. So that's done. And, um, You'll have noticed when I was applying the papers down with the matte medium that when I got a little of the matte medium onto my butterflies, <coughs> excuse me, when I got a little of the matte medium on my butterflies, then I would go in and I would wipe it off. And that's because I really wanted that, um, the modeling paste, which is very absorbent, to retain that absorbency so that whenever I applied the glaze, it would really get in there. So um, I'm going to, I let this sit for just a little bit. It's not a very thick glaze, so I don't want to leave it sit too long or it's going to completely dry. And I'm going to go in with a dry paper towel and just start wiping some of it out. And you can see where the matte medium went. It's a lot less absorbent than where, can you see that in your light? Yeah, 
this is a lot less absorbent than the actual paper of the page. So it's going to leave some weird places, but that's okay because this is just the first layer. Okay. Uh, pink. I feel better already just because it's pink. So uh, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Purple. I'm going to go in with some purple. And I'm going to mix this with just a little bit. This is a uh, dioxazine purple. I'm going to mix this with a little bit. Oops, that's a lot of paint. With a little bit of glazing medium as well, just so that it's not so heavy. I have my palette knife and it's got paint on it. I'm just going to go ahead and use it a little. Okay. So I want to come in with my fingers and I have a little bit more control over it. Then I'm just going to go well, wherever I feel like it. And as heavy as I want, because it's a glaze, it'll be a little translucent and it'll blend nicely with the pink glaze, which I haven't let dry, but it dries very quickly. So um, I'm just going to go in with some purple all over the place. Okay, so next. Next, what am I going to do? I'm going to go in with some white paint. Just wherever. I don't know. I still don't know where this is going to end up. I just know that I'm liking the colors and having fun playing and getting messy. So white paint's next. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some teal because if you have too much, you might as well just keep going, right? Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun just to get it um, dry and then I'll see where I'm going to go after that. Okay, so I, my camera back where it belongs, there we go. I didn't record the first one because I goofed, but what I did, and I'll do it on this one, is I just outlined the entire butterfly with my um, black ink tint pencil. For those of you who haven't used the Inktense pencils before, these are really cool, a really cool product that I, I absolutely love. Um, they go on like a regular color pencil, but when you activate them with water, they become a vibrant ink. And then when that ink dries, it is basically impermeable, so it's permanent at that point. Um, once it's dry, then it, it won't get, even if you put water on it, it won't come up again. So it works really well to use, especially if you're out traveling, journaling or something, you're out somewhere, because you can get a really nice bright color from it, but you don't have to worry about the next layer of whatever you do coming up, bringing it up like you would with, say, like watercolor or even regular color pencils if you put too much media on top, can cause them to come off. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry these with the heat gun, and then I'll be Now that that's dry, I'm going to do another glaze over the whole thing using uh, Van Dyke Brown and the glazing medium again, and see what happens. Maybe age it a little bit, antique it. So here we go. That's crazy scary looking, I know, but it's going to be okay. Just just bear with me. <laughs> It'll be okay, and if it's not, it's my art journal, and that's where I'm allowed to make all my mistakes, right? So um, I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then I'm going to wipe it off. Um, okay, I'm going to say that's long enough because I'm a little scared. So <laughs> let's see what happens.
Well, for one thing, obviously, some of my glazes weren't completely dry underneath. As you can see, it's removed a lot of the paint because if you put wet on top of wet and then wipe it off, it, it will lift the color underneath. So, and that's okay. I'm just playing here, so it's not a huge problem. Okay, I think I'm actually liking what I'm getting here. This is going to really need to dry right now before I can go any further. So um, I'm going to really give this a good blast with the heat gun and then I'll be back with you. Now um, the paint is getting just a little bit darker than I necessarily want. So I want to bring those butterflies back out. So I'm going to use my Lumiere's. Oh, I don't want to chip it open. Lumiere paints and this one is citrine, which is the light green. And they're very reflective, so I want to I want to use my palette because I don't want to get too much on my finger at one time because I want to just go over the butterflies. And next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the pearl turquoise in the same Lumieres. Okay, so can you see that? Like, oh, there, there we go. Isn't that just the greatest? <laughs> oh, I like it. Okay, um, I'll be back in a minute after figure out what I want to do next. Okay, so I think I'm going to try my art or my Teco Color acrylic um, paint pen. It's white paint. Okay, with my bright light on, I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm going to shut it off and hope that you can still see what I'm doing. Uh, come on, camera. Catch up with the lighting. I know you can do it. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll turn it back on in just one second. And again, I'm just going back around where I gone with the black. So you, some of you are going to go, why did you bother with that black ink tense pencil? And I'll tell you, I don't know, because that's what I was trying at the time. And then I just think everything got a little too dark. So I'm going back around it with white. And that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, you know, your creative, my creative process anyways, sometimes takes different turns as I'm going along and I find that something isn't working. I won't stick with it. I'll just keep going and trying something else until I like the result. And that's just what you have to learn to do, kind of go with it, right? There. Now I'm liking them better and they're standing out more and looking brighter on the page. No, I think I'm just going to doodle a little and add a quick little quote and then I'll be done. Okay, well, there you have it. I just added the little white doodles and the quote in white just to brighten that page back up. I love the bright colors, but then I loved after we put the brown and it muted it and I kind of aged it. I don't know, I really like the way the background ended up looking. So there's my butterfly page. I'm done with it. I'm happy with it. And and I finally got some creative creativity out of me because man, I've just just been stuffed up and I'm glad I made something that's halfway decent. <coughs> It doesn't even matter to me that it's not perfect, that it's not fabulous, it's cute, and it, it got some creative juices flowing because, man, I needed something after all this time off. And I am going to, um, like, jump on the computer and get this edited and out there for you guys. So thank you all for your patience for waiting for me and this page and getting some art videos out to you. I promise there will be more coming, and I will... I will, I, I'm working hard, um, working on that workshop for faces and I'm working on this. So, um, thank you for your patience and, and I hope you like the page. Thanks. Oh, uh, one more thing. 
If you like my videos, apparently it matters to YouTube. If you click the little thumbs up button down there, thumbs up, I can't show you, thumbs up button down there. So if you could um, click the thumbs up, leave me a comment, that'd be great. It gives me better ratings on YouTube and um, more people will get to see my videos. So that's great. I would appreciate it very much and I will see you guys later. Bye.